welcome to The John Show with your host, John Doogie Clouser. All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everyone? How are you? We're here on a new episode of The Juan Solo Show with your host, me, John D. Clouser. Juan D. Clouser, whichever one you prefer. This is what? Episode 170. Sorry, I had to turn on the party light. There, there's a party light that you guys don't really see, but I see. But um, so yeah, what's up? How are you? We're yeah, like I said, episode seventy. Um, yeah. How are you? Doing good. I hope you're doing well. Uh, it is. It is like officially summer. It is warm. Uh, I had to wait a little bit. I would have done this a couple hours earlier, but it was rather warm in my office, and I have a. Uh, you know, event and normally I just put a towel over it because it gets too cold in there. And I had a way, it, it, you know what? Then it got too hot because it's summertime now. And oh, what's that song? Uh, summertime, uh, three act slide. It is one of the most awful songs you'll ever listen to, but it's hilarious. It is hilarious because it's these people, who, it's the family and they're white as hell, but they're fluent in Spanish and they are huge in Colombia. Or South, I, it was it's either Colombia or South America. No, N- Nicaragua. I, you know what's funny? I'm I'm Latino and I can't even, I can't even pronounce N- Nicar- Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Like I can't. Pr- it's like one of the hardest words for me. That and uh, as el Like I can't say salad in Spanish for shit. Like, <laughs> like watch the oh, We'll Google this real quick because I'm like, I'm salad dante. See, I, I'm not even sure if I'm even saying it right. So there's someone's like, Mm-mm, not even close, buddy. Not even close. Not even close. Ensalada. Ensalada. See, it, it's like, yeah, it's like enchilada, but ensalada. I, it's I, mm, so hard. It's so hard for me to fucking say. Ensaladana. What the fuck was that? In Saladana or no, it in 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 Saladana, yeah. So see it's like it doesn't even sound right when I say it. I just say like mucho, 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 mucho. That's how I that's how I feel like I sound when I say it. Uh but yeah. So <laughs> but uh yeah, uh so I guess like kind of like what's new with me, what's up with me, I guess. Is is that is that like kinda of like a little bit of a segue? Uh, I went. I saw that Little Mermaid movie. Oh, tell me. Let me tell you guys. That movie was. That movie was the fucking bee's knees. It was great. And what it's grossed this past weekend. I guess opening weekend. It was a hundred and eighty-five mil, I believe. So I wonder who all those people were that said that you know they're not going to go see it. It's so stupid. This. Oh God. I'm not going to go see it because she's a black girl playing a made-up character. A mermaid's not a real thing. They used to think mermaids or manatees were mermaids. That's how fucking stupid people were back then. So, l- look at that. And now people are going to look back on this time of period. They're like, so they were going to go see a movie about a character that was completely made up because the cartoon version that was the original version was played by maybe a white girl. But it wasn't even acknowledged at that time. It wasn't even acknowledged in the movie if it was a white girl. Because it was just like, whatever. But she's a half human, half mermaid. So she's only fucking a white girl from the, from basically the the belly button up. Yeah. But yeah, so they were making a remake of it. And they're like, yeah, they casted a black girl who could just sing really well. And yeah, people made a big protest about it, saying that they weren't going to go see it because, uh, you know, I guess mermaids or mer maids are black. They can't be black because even because even in the half human, half mermaid world, black people can't belong there. It's just black people and like let it was so funny because like there's always been hatred towards black people. There's always been in America, always been hatred towards black people. Black people can't. Uh, drinking this this water fountain, black people can't live in this neighborhood. Black people only smoke crack. Get it? 
but it was so funny during that time when like all those things were going on like there weren't even a thing called latinos <laughs> it was like just puerto ricans <laughs> just puerto ricans and dominicans it's like yeah but yeah, what about the other ones like and it's probably because in this is I, I probably sound so ignorant right now. And I, I'll admit that. I'll admit that. Uh, probably because, what is it, New, like, New York? Like, papi, papi. It's like, because there's so many, like, fucking, what, Puerto Ricans? And, like, domos. <clears throat> and, like, I guess there's, like, there's more Dominicans domos. So don't think that's a drug to It's like, Dominican Republic. I actually, to tell you the truth, I'm not Dominican, but I am Latino. So is that even, is that a slur? Because, like, domos, like, they call them, like, Dominican people call each other that all the time. So, like, I'm like, I don't think it's a, like, hondo. Like, I, but Hondurans don't call each other hondos. <laughs> so fucking stupid sounding. Hondo. <laughs> I'm a hondo. Uh, no. So. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Who really knows? It's a. Uh, it's an interesting world that we live in. Though. Fuck. It's interesting. Uh, like I told you. Like with China. Uh, China starting to buy corn from South America now. Um, I don't know. Like people don't want live action mermaid people to be black like that's it's like if you saw the movie the dad's white ariel she's black and then all the other sisters they're all different races they're literally every other race every other race every other race because it's like a play on like the indian ocean so of course what that girl would be indian with the dot you know you know something like that it's just like it's just uh, you know like with the red sea and the red sea the Tanzania sea, like Tanzania or something like that, like that would be an Asian person or what is those seas over there? Let's look at a map, John. If we're gonna say this, if you're gonna if you're gonna say dumb shit, look on a map first. Ooh, there's a the thing. Uh, okay, well, let's go over to the Chinas. Should should not say that. Um, like the Indian Sea, that'd be someone from India, right? And then let's go over here. So like the the Philippine Sea, like the Philippine Sea. Like the seven seas, it was supposed to be the representation of the seven seas. But yeah, of course, like if that's a sea, uh, boom, Philippines, a Filipino girl, like, it's like duh. It's like, but it also makes sense too because it's like supposed to be like, z- what the fuck was, what was Ariel's dad's name? I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, little Ariel's dad's name king triton so even even king triton in the fucking movie he does he i guess he's white he looks more he could be he could be latin latin to be to tell you the fucking truth but guess what not a real thing that's the thing that's the, that's the biggest thing that was not a real fucking thing so i don't understand why people are upset but the, but back to the movie I would recommend seeing this thing in 3D. This thing was fucking balls good, dude. This shit was fu- balls good. What the fuck does that even mean, dude? Balls good? Anyway. Uh, but it was such a good movie. The uh, Under the Sea scene. And then Kiss the Girl. Those two, you know, because those are like the trademark. Those are like the, the trademark scenes in that movie. Or songs in that movie. Uh great perfect awesome so good so fucking good and they add like their own little twist that's what's so great about it because like i is i'm like if you just follow the storyline boom 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 in and out in retrospect the story of the little mermaid is actually a pretty tight sealed little story and like the act structure if you really break it down it's really solid because I, I was watching it last night, and I'm like, oh, my God. It's just like in and out, in, out, in, out, in, out. There's no wasted scenes. Granted, like there was last night because they added it because it's a live action, and it's Disney. They own – they can do whatever the fuck they want because uh, they're Disney. They ha- added this song for uh, – what's the g- – g- John, the guy? Is it the guy who – is the Prin- Prince John? Is that his name? Uh, he, actually, I don't know. Prince's name. God damn it. Prince name Little Little Mermaid. Eric. God damn it. 
who is John? Any little John? Am I thinking of the rapper? But Eric, yeah, Eric. I'm like, even when I was saying, I was like, John, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. But Eric, he has a song, and it's okay. It's all right. It kind of that's like the one of the only things I would say that kind of kills the story. It kind of kills and kind of slows down the pace of it because it's not really his story. And that's what's so weird is because you know the original Little Mermaid. It's only her story because it's about a girl who wants to be on land and to like understand how it is to be a human. That's what she wants, and because like her father doesn't allow her. Uh, so yeah, so that's the story. And then like you kind of like, and we're really following it. And like she's going, she's going. She finally gets on land, or she's about to get on land. She uh, just sold her her voice to. Ursula and then you go and you f- hear this song from this guy and you're like and I'm like I don't really care dude like I get it but you're 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 not the main point and then like it's basically they switched out main characters and I I get it because it's supposed to be a musical a live action and like you're like fuck it might as well we have this guy here and I'm sure it's probably in his contract saying that like I have to have a song uh and I'm sure they wanted to have a song. Disney wanted to have a song for the male vocal just to kind of throw the balance kind of back in the court because it's like the only other males are animal voices. So I I guess and then there's like the the keeper or the no the prime minister. It'd be the prime minister because it was the queen and then there was that prime minister. Uh but yeah, yeah. Uh so it's just, and it was really cool because you got a little bit of more backstory on, I guess, because I've never read the book. And so I guess humans killed Ariel's mother. But what's so funny is that, like, I guess King Triton loved Ariel's mother the most. I'm assuming so because, like, I'm like, bro, you have you have six other uh, BDs back there and like you're not giving a fuck about any of them like where are they at where the fuck are them so just saying or did she make but there's no way that she make all of them let's let's look this up let's look this up like we're already here right King Triton King Triton Triton right wife yeah let's look this up let's look this up king triton's wife uh queen earth the uh ruled over the water kingdom uh what happened to her let's see what happened to her unfortunately she died as a result of a run-in with a big pirate ship when ursula was very young fueling triton's hatred towards humans as a result huh okay how many wives has he had? He only had one wife. Interesting. Yeah. Only had one wife. But he had seven daughters. And they're all from the... Uh... Then my next question is, how are they all fucking ethnic? <laughs> That's my next question then. And the funny thing is, like, why did I need to look all that up? <laughs> but... It just gives more, more fuel to this fucking, fucking forest fire. I feel like this, like my podcast, is a gender reveal party that no one wanted and no one really wanted to go to. But they're like, hey, there's gonna be beer and weed, and they did it out in the middle of the woods, and they just blew up a fuck. They just threw up a fucking rac, like a yeah, raccoon up in the air and it exploded, and it caused a big old forest fire. That's why I feel like this podcast is, it's just you know. It is what it is, but yeah, Little Mermaid. I would say rec- I recommend go see it. Oh, and the other thing, it was that Eric's song, and then when she was, I want to be part of this world. You know that song, um, the you know how it's like such a huge crescendo in the animated version, and in the live action, it was very blasé. It was very under. It was. It, it, there was no like big ending because the song was recorded to have like this big crescendo and then they filmed it with a very very uh mild like off kiltered shot 
and it was this little bit of shakiness to it, and you're just like, what? This was all right. I mean, this was like the perfect moment to do a, a really cool push in, like a far out push in, and have like water and fuck. You could have things float in the air. You could have a bunch of animation with animals and stuff, and you just like you just you just totally just did not do that. But then I'm like, it's live action, so I was like, okay, I'm like, uh, you can't be. But I'm like, it's Disney. But if if anyone could do this, it'd be Disney. But uh, okay, so we're like, all right, well, and but yeah, uh, King Triton only had one wife, you know. That's to that, right? To that, um. I guess I guess we could stay on movies. So I rewatched American Graffiti. It's a movie made in the nineteen I think it was nineteen seventy. Let me look at this. American Graffiti nineteen seventy three. And uh let me tell ya, let me tell ya. It did not hold up. I remember watching it as a kid because it's basically all the char- it was the main character from Happy Days. That guy. And it's about two kids who are about to graduate high school. And they're going to go to a college. And it's the night before they're, moved, they're going away. So that's the premise. But you're, you, you get told one time. Roughly in this weird. In this diner thing. But it's. So it's set in the 70s. So like the thing is one. People had a lot more more of attention span because what else were they going to do they don't have anything they had no they didn't have very much entertainment so like you know the intro it was one of those intros that was like the whole song so it was like an intro that was lasted like three and a half minutes that would never fly you can't do that shit now you have to get in and out you can you can last maybe 30 seconds 30 seconds but you're lucky you're pushing it so because you want an intro that's like 15 seconds shows like Basically, the intro has nothing to do. If you're watching any of these fucking shows now, you watch any of these sick. The intro has almost zero to do with anything of the show. The only one I've seen that has somewhat of interest is since in session. Like they kind of did it, kind of cool, uh, but even that is like weird and offsetting, and you're not really watching it that much. And like until you get invested into the show, and you're like, then you start watching. Like this is fucking weird. But I'm talking out of my asshole right now. Please know this. I'm talking to our podcast. Uh, but this American Graffiti, holy shit. Talk about a movie that just sits in one spot and does not move. It does not move. The movie does nothing. And it was like, and it was so sad was the fact that like when I was watching it, it was, what's worse than watching a movie that goes nowhere, watching a movie that goes nowhere with white people. No offense. But it's like, there's, because you, there's, there's no struggle. There's nothing. There's really, because it's just, it was just people driving around in a car and then they were driving around in a car and they're talking to someone else in another car right next to them. And you're like, what is, what are we watching? Why are we watching all this? It's all that stuff that you would never, that you would never ever see in a movie because it would just cut from one thing to another. Like when a character is going from one location to another, like, okay, we figured out where the, okay. So the bad guys in downtown, you would never then hardly ever unless there is a meaning for you to see that character drive a car from where they find out the information to downtown there, there'd be no need you just cut to them like right outside an establishing shot outside and then boom you're at you're downtown in a building in a warehouse or whatever and that's the beginning of the situation of the conflict that's about to occur between the main character and the antagonist. But there's none of that in American Graffiti. It was, I'm just like, good fucking Jesus. And what's so sad is that I'm rewatching a lot of these movies that I, I, I loved. I loved. And I'm like, ugh. But I guess the thing is, I can look at it for the time. Like, it's, uh, you can't compare it to a 2023 movie because the movie was made in 1973. <laughs> these are not the same they're not they had no idea they had no idea what if the little mermaid was going to be like <laughs> i don't think the little mermaid when did the original mermaid come out when was the little mermaid released 
eighty nine. So yeah, they were they hadn't even like know what the Little Mermaid is. So. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Um, so changing things, I just saw, uh, uh, Saquon Barkley just signed a five-year deal with the with the Chiefs with the kid. Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Holy crap! That's awesome. That makes me so happy. That makes me so happy because do you understand what this will do for the Chiefs? You know how much this will open up? Because even though Saquon is, he's injured or he's not injured, but he has had a torn ACL. But granted, it's because he was literally carrying the whole team on his knees. So understandable. But oh my God. Oh my God. This is so crazy that that Saquon. Holy crap. Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry. This is football. This is all football. This could, now we're like talking about football. So like I'm like so now I'm trying I'm going to look this shit up. Uh holy hell. Holy fuck. That's crazy. Saquon Barkley, the Chiefs. Huh, what? This was the 15th. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, guys. This is like all crazy, all intense. Uh, football. It's I I I I I just I I I think I care about it too much. I think about it way too much. I literally do. I I'm I'm nervous right now for my team. I'm like every time every day I wake up, I'm like okay. Well, like I'm like I'm doing my I'm doing my job. I'm like hope you know I hope those cornerbacks and that that practice safety is doing theirs, you know, it's, it's stupid. It's so dumb. Cause like, look at me. I just like freaked out over a guy getting brought from one team to another. Uh, but it, it's just cause it's, it's this, it, it's my housewife shit. It's mine. It's my housewife stuff. So, um, yeah. So, it's just great. You know what's so funny? It's like if I wouldn't have talked so much about the little fucking mermaid. <laughs> I had like, I mean, I guess I could do one. So I, I, I'm i going to start doing this advice thing. And I, I uh, so like giving out, giving out advice. Uh, so yeah, there was one that I saw that I really wanted to talk about. That was, is like, I constantly feel like I'm wasting my time. Where was it? Oh, I male got a BJ from a guy for the first time, and I feel re- I'm feeling regretful and confused. And so it was like I thought that was like so like incredibly sad because <laughs> there's like absolutely no reason to feel ap- to feel bad about getting a BJ from a dude from a dude, especially in this time of this time of right now. You can do whatever the fuck you want. You can literally do whatever you want, and. It doesn't matter. People just praise you for it. I could, I could come out right now and say I'm a woman and say I'm a strong, powerful black woman. And most people would be like, yeah, that's what you are now. That's what you want to be. So do it. Be it. I hope hope you enjoy it. And so, yeah, I, I, I just don't. Man, again, if you are someone who cares so much about other people, of like if they're gay or not, that is so gay to be like that that's so much gayer than what they're doing man like you know the term like that shit's gay that's what that that's what that term's used for is for things like that because dude that's weird like why do you care so much like you really shouldn't give a shit like with a thought like that mm, why Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. just so much of a waste of your own time time thoughts gross 
just not not worth it. It's just absolutely not worth wasting your energy on. It's almost as dumb as like being jealous of people. Like, so in my world, I, I, I make art. I make art, art. I do this thing. I'm trying to get attention, and and then like or do podcasting. And then when you see other people do podcasting, it's like, yeah, like I don't ever get jealous anymore. I'm like the only thing is, I'm like, I'm like good for you. Hope you do it. I hope you stick to it. That's the big thing. I hope you just stick to it. See if get to 170 episodes. I'm not saying I'm the greatest fucking thing in the world, but like, I, I, I like what I've even heard today. Like I keep, even what I pre- what I've told you all is that like it's not a like talent will get you somewhere for a bit. But you have to be consistent. You have to be consistent, consistent, consistent. Like, can you do it day in, day out? Can you make it part of your life? And it's the truth. I hate saying that, but it's like, like yeah, I guess you're kind of right person uh, who also does podcasting, who just seems like, like, it's like you do good. At, like, it's so funny because it's like people who get good at, like, taxes or who get good at, like, accounting I guess it's the same fucking thing. People who get good at making money, then they want to like sit on this high horse and like preach at you. It's hilarious. It's so funny. It's like just shut up and just like have your Maserati. <laughs> so it's cool. It's cool. I mean, I guess I maybe I'm just weird and I just don't really want to hear about that. Like I'm like, I'm like just have fun. Just talk. Just fucking talk. Don't like. Don't don't preach at me. Don't be a preacher. Be a preacher if you want to preach. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I guess like I have about like, two minutes left on this podcast, and so sad moment I have to talk about. Uh, I guess this is where we'll end this podcast. Uh, if you don't want to hear anything sad, you could be done. Um, but I guess it's just I gotta need to kind of talk, not really talk about it. But uh, this past week, my father passed away. Um, my adoptive dad uh and it sucks <laughs> it's one of the su- it's one of the sh- shitty ones the shitty uh deaths that i was forever in my life avoiding and it's just you're like damn when someone so close to you uh passes just you're just kind of sit you're just here and you're like it, what's so crazy about it is just how final it feels and how it's just like, yeah, I'm never going to see that dude again. I'm never going to see my dad again. I'm never going to talk to him again. I'm never going to have a conversation with him again. Uh, but, you know, and thus, you know, I like to think that, you know, there is, I like to think, you know, if there is a heaven, if all that stuff's real, then he's up there with other family members. And he's probably with my weird mom, big cat. And I'm sure she hasn't told him either what her real name is. So (laughs) it is what it is. But it sucks. Uh, But in that, uh, my dad never drank. So this is a root beer. His favorite kind of root beer. So this is where I'm going to end this podcast this week. And uh, this one's for you, Dad. Rest in peace, buddy. I love you. Thank you for everything. You were the main reason why I got into this audio stuff. It's because of you. So, thank you. Wherever you're at, if you're here with me, what's up? I will enjoy having you next to me until it's my time. All right. Bye, y'all.